Hello everyone, it's Tina again from the Autism Helper. I wanted to show you another I Spy look, a book that I love and I think it would be great to engage our really little learners who love princesses. So if you're doing a live session, um, I could just see a little girl getting dressed up if she wants to or he um, in their little outfit while you do this session with them that might make them even more engaged. I'm just trying to think of more ways to engage kids, especially when they're this young. And this book is obviously called I Spy and it's with princesses and prince. So on the page, like I showed you in the other book before, it usually comes blank. And if you don't have a printer and all the capabilities and you're and your parent doesn't and you can't get resources there. Um, I've just been doing little screenshots of um, the pieces that are usually back here in the back of the book. And I've just been copying and pasting them right into the book. That way, you know, when you're doing your session and you say, I spy with my little eyes, a princess wearing a crown. And you can have them point to which one is, you know, wearing the crown. Um, you could also modify it. So for example, here, are the next choices that I just screenshotted. If you know a field of three is too much, you can always um, you can crop it. Oh wait, sorry. So you can crop it like this and just give two choices. Okay. Get rid of this one and just put them into the boxes that way. delete this one because it's an edit version or if you want it to be errorless you could just put the one um, that is appropriate the appropriate choice on there and just say point to the blue dress where's the blue little princess in the blue dress so again just copy and paste or crop that one and just make that the only option I spy so now it's just kind of like an adaptive reading book um, and then on their iPads, if they open up in a certain program, they can also make it interactive. So those are different ways that you can adapt the books from a field of three to a good the two, and then the errorless learning if you want to just do a little fun interactive princess book with your kids and work on, you can work on core language, color. Um, obviously, these have a lot of features in it um, and just something that's really engaging for our youngest little learners. So good luck.